the world's greatest valentine. Chapter 1. Happy Valentine's Day, Bikini Bottom. With the when I cry, SpongeBob SquarePants point out in the front door of his pineapple home and ran across the ocean floor. SpongeBob had thought that the red front would never arrive. The skinny arms were overflowing with Valentine's of all shapes and sizes. After weeks of waiting, he could deliver his gifts at last. The stuff of Valentine for my favorite next door neighbor. Spongebob said with a heavy goo. <laughs> Dancing ac- across the sea grass on the tiptoes of his shiny white shoes. Spongebob loved a large pink Valentine to him to laugh at his for neighbor. Squidward, happy Valentine Day, pal. Spongebob said. When you be mine, Squidward's girl, then sat back in his outdoor lounge chair. Why don't you go play in the face of waters? He shouted to his son with a That's a good idea. Sharks need not to. And I got lots of more thoughts I to give. Squidward replied with a wave. Goodbye. Good riddance, Squidward said sorely. Sweating his Valentine to come her in, tossing the pieces all over his head, spawning Mrs. Pop behind the steering wheel of her blue and white motor boat. Motor boat. SpongeBob <laughs> ran up alongside her vehicle. Happy Valentine's Day, Mrs. Pop. SpongeBob called as he tossed her a red Valentine with lace. Oh my, thank you, SpongeBob. The goldfish replied as she opened the Valentine. I get a pain out of you. This <laughs> pen read, not paying attention to where she was going. Crunch, Mrs. Puff broke into the fire hydrant. Push, her body inflated into her four times its normal size. Luckily, Mrs. Puff wasn't injured thanks to her burn in. Airbag. Spongebob didn't hear the back. He was already dropping a little valentine. Drinking our pound tweezers, he selected a small paper from his pound and held it. Out of a tiny green creature with one much red, one red eye. Spongebob, the evil plate the evil plate the cry. He looked up. Sam, Mr. Cass sent you to destroy me. So, Mr. Cass has sent you to destroy me. Well, I'm ready for you. Give me your best shot. Okay. Smart vaguely. Here you go. I to tuck the apple and let the well, no, I, like. I want the plank for you. Be my Valentine. Love. Spongebob? <laughs> Spongebob did it as he did the way. Happy. Very excited, you play dance. Curse you, Sporty Bob. When you boomed, hopping up and down with anger. Curse you! Smurfman wasn't listening. He continued to drop with Valentine to help the king about. But he had to hurry, for there was a final stop to make his Valentine's Day was complete. Stay tuned for chapter 2, coming up soon.